there. Good afternoon. My name is Baba Tando, and I have the latest in the world of sports. We begin with some very good news because Ghana has taken a very giant stride to the next FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup. And captain of the Black Ladies, Mukarama Abdullah, scored five goals. And that was all the Black Ladies needed uh, as they hammered Gambia in the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup qualifier in Banjul on Saturday. Here's the report put together by Joy Sports Nana Kwame. Ghana captain Mukurama Abdullah scored all the five goals as the Black Maidens hammered Gambia 5-1 in the Under-17 Women's World Cup qualifier on Saturday. The Northern Ladies attacker scored a double brace by the first half to put the visiting side in the commanding lead in the first leg played in Banjo. A lapse in concentration allowed Gambian attacker Fatumata So the space to pull one back before the break at the Independence Sports Stadium. But after the break, Abdullah completed the massacre with another strike to finish off the Gambians and make the second leg a mere formality. The Black Maidens will host the Gambians in the second leg in two weeks at the Cape Coast Stadium. All right, so um, you should expect an interview with the BBC's Peter Okoche later today with Gary Al Smith. Peter Okoche is in the country for a few days, and remember that he's also going to be hosting the BBC Africa Footballer of the Year Awards um, coming up um, this month. So you should stay, stick and stay for that particular interview. But uh, let's do some golf before I take leave of you, because Ricky Fowler stole the show with a final round masterclass to claim the Heroes World Challenge title in the Bahamas tournament. Uh, uh, in the Bahamas um, tournament host uh, Tiger Woods to left the Holiday Island with positive vibes on his comeback and talked of a bright future after being competitive and pain free on his return to uh, the tournament to play following his tra uh, travails with back injuries. Fowler, the world number nine, opened with seven straight birdies, including holding out from a bunker on the fifth that enabled him to scoop the one million dollar prize money in the limited field tournament. So there's more on myjoyonline.com for slash sports. But don't forget that interview coming up with the BBC's Peter Okoche with Gary Al Smith coming up in our subsequent bulletins. Um, but for now, I am done. Tweet at me at Barbatando. Good afternoon.